binomial, you remember from our last lesson, two terms. So it's a square because you're going to multiply this twice. The, 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 the square there. That's why it's called a square binomial. So when you have something square, it means you multiply it twice. So we're going to write it twice. Then we multiply. We're going to follow the rules of multiplying binomials. A times A, we're going to get A squared. And then this term multiplied by that term. Positive times negative, negative A times B, AB. Then we multiply this term with that one. Negative times positive, negative B times A, AB. Then we're going to multiply this term with the last one here. Negative times negative, positive. Two negative, positive. B times B, B squared. Then we look at the like terms. A squared, no like 10. This one, it's minus AB and minus AB. There's a 1 here. So we have minus 2AB. Then we have a plus B squared. Right. There's an easier way that you can do this. So we're going to look at an easier way where you actually skip these two steps. Let's look at that. When you're looking at an easier way, why why did I show you the hard way when there's an easier, easier way? Because you have to understand what you are doing. When in math, when you're getting faster ways, easier ways, we still need to understand the, mathematic, the mathematics behind. So we're going to get the same answer, but we're going to eliminate uh, two steps. So with this easier way, you're going to multiply the first term, multiply by the first term. In the first term here, it's A. So you're going to say A multiplied by A. Your answer will be A squared. Then you multiply the first term, multiply by the second term, multiply by 2. The first term is positive. The second term is negative. So positive times negative is negative. And then you have A times B times 2. Then your answer is 2 a b then the last term second term multiply by second term negative times negative positive b times b b squared then when you look at this answer is exactly the same as the answer that we did before so this is something that you need to practice you practice you practice you practice and then you get used to it and you get it right all the time Right now, I'm gonna give you an example. You're gonna write that. You're gonna write it before you get the answers. Before you look at how I do it, you do it first. Then you you, you pause the video, do it, then look at the video after. Let's look at an example. Right. Let's look at this. It's a square binomial, but you're gonna do it in the short way. Please watch this video after you have tried it yourself. We're gonna go first term multiplied by first term. X times X is x squared we're gonna go first term multiplied by second term multiplied by two so you have positive times positive it's gonna give us positive and then we have x times four times two which is gonna give us eight x then we have positive times positive positive four times four then it's gonna give us sixteen then that's your answer. Then this is much easier. And it's very important to learn this method because when you continue, you'll find this square binomial within a problem. So when you're going to spread it, multiply it, it's going to make it complicated. So it's better when you do it with one step and then you have higher chances of getting your answers correct. Please practice, practice, practice. Math is not difficult. It's not impossible. Just need you to practice. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.